Hello, I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a static sale for you. This is going to run March 13th through end of day March 15th. And I am continuing to clear out the leftover items from last year and then items that were my personal belongings that I'm downsizing because I have now moved. So I did, <clears throat> excuse me, make an update video about that. Uh, if you want to go back and watch the I'm back video, which tells you I've gotten moved and gives you some more details. Um, I am going to show 10 items I did not show in my live earlier today. And then I will show you the items that are left over from my live. And after I show the items I haven't shown before, I will tell you so that if you saw this morning's live, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. Uh, if you've never purchased from a static sale before, you I will give you the uh, item price and an item number. You pop the item number down in the comments below. And if you're the first person to comment with that item number, you win the item. If you've never purchased from me before, I will need you to send me uh, your YouTube name, your real name if it's different from your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. And my um, email is in the description box below, but it is also claudiakvintage at gmail.com, and K is spelled C-A-Y-E. Like I said, it is in the description box below. I will be invoicing um, from this sale and this morning's live sale. I will be invoicing everything before midnight uh, Tuesday of next week. So I always, within seven days, get your, your invoice. And then I ask that you pay within 48 hours. And then I get your item shipped out as soon as everybody has paid. So that I can make one trip to the post office instead of multiple trips. Uh, and we have started the new altered book project. So here is the prompt for our new altered book project for 2024. I'm so excited starting a new project. Let's just jump right into the sale. So all of these items are priced to go because I have moved. I have completely downsized and will be doing much smaller, um, sales. I'm just going to restructure it differently. And so I have far too many items. And so everything has to go, everything has to go. And then I can get new things and I'm excited about that. So first off, we have this white blendo pitcher. No crack. It is a little dusty, but no cracks. The um, white is in really good condition. I don't have the cups that go with it. I think it would be fun to have this pitcher and then thrift the cups in different colors. This is bigger than the juice pitcher because I do have the juice pitcher in green in my personal collection. So this is, this is bigger than that. And it is just $5, $5 number 29. You'll pay more in shipping than you pay for the item. $5 number 29 on the Blendo pitcher in white, in good condition. Like the gold does not have a lot of fading. I think this would be a fun item to make some lemonade in this summer. Yum. Okay, next up. It is the Tupperware Atomic shaker holder. And then I've seen toothpicks up in here. And I looked online. You can come across the replacement shakers for these quite often. But I guess this piece is harder to find. I loved it because of its shape. And it is just $5, number 32. $5, number 32 for the Tupperware Atomic Salt and Pepper Shaker Holder. Just the holder. And if you haven't guessed, I'm working in a much smaller space and I'm just sitting in my rocking chair. I don't have a desk. And so we are making it work. 
Next up, this gorgeous hat. I thought I would really love it this winter and then found myself reaching for other hats instead. It is very warm. This is a Winfield, styled by Winfield. But if you look there, right there, it says body made in Italy. So it's this heavy felt material with then some kind of furry stuff on the outside and this leather or it feels like leather. It's really buttery soft, this accent piece right here. And I can't try it on for you because I don't want to get any purple, any of my purple hair color on it. It is $10, number 39 for the body made in Italy, styled by Win, Winfield, is that what I said? By Winfield, vintage hat, $10, number 39. Hey buddy. Next up, the E Canada Art Pottery Planter slash Face. I think this would be super cute as a planter. On the bottom is stamped E Canada Art Pottery. And the um, person that designed this started this company in Canada after he immigrated there from um, Europe and he had worked for it went whatever this style it, it just went straight out of my head but he worked for the, the company that the style mimics and so he started his own it's very soft pottery it's very soft but it is five dollars number 35 five dollars number 35 and it's this size and if you have questions about items you can drop them in the comments below or you can send me an email and I will answer them. Although if somebody claims the item in, in between me answering you back, they've claimed the item. But um, you can always ask me questions. Next up, I do not remember if this is a reproduction or if this was an original. Um, Nikki had taught us in glass with class which which way the um, seam on the top it, it indicates whether or not it's a reproduction and I honestly I cannot remember what she said this is a beautiful blue let me get a piece of white paper behind it so you can see the blue beautiful and it's the top to a butter dish but I just think it's gorgeous in itself and I had it in my display and it is only $5, number 28. I always thought I'd come across the bottom of the butter dish. Never did. Or in my family, we call them cheese ball dishes because my mom makes cheese ball and she puts it in one of these. $5, number 28. Next up. Is this fun Amber Beerstein with this metal detail. I don't know which company made it, but look at the handle. This came out of my personal collection. <laughs> Says size, so Beerstein, super fun details, amber glass, no chips, no cracks. And it is going to be $5, number 34. Five dollars, number thirty-four, and I don't even drink beer. I am not a beer drinker. This this time was just a whole lot of fun, though. And if you've seen some of my videos in the beginning of the packing up to move process, I picked a color theme for my kitchen, and then anything that didn't fit that color theme, I just got rid of because I am thrifting and garage sailing and flea marketing and antiquing so often, I get things because I fall in love with them and then they don't actually go with my decor. And since I was downsizing and putting all of my kitchen stuff into storage and I had a limited space in the storage unit, I, I had to set parameters on what I was keeping. And so, Amber glass was not something that I was keeping, unfortunately. 
So we have this large champagne coupe slash mar it's not a martini glass, but it's oversized for a champagne coupe. It's see how big it is. I loved it. I used it, but had to had to set the limits on what I was keeping. Five dollars, number forty. Five dollars, number forty. Okay, next up. This is heavy. It's crystal. I do not think this was its original lid. But maybe it was. Because I, d I don't know. I do not know if this was its original lid. So nice and heavy. It's got this nice cut detail here at the bottom. It's a little cloudy right now. Since I'm clearancing these items, I did not clean them or dust them or anything. I just had to pack things up for the move. And it's this size. No chips, no cracks. There are a couple of like bubbles in the glass of the lid. but they're inside the, the glass of the lid of the stopper. So no chips, no cracks. And it's just going to be $5 number 31. So a lot of this stuff, if you're just buying one item, you are going to be paying more shipping than um, you'll be paying for the item. So getting a really good deal. $5 number 31. Carefully back down here. And I had these decanters with colored water in them in a display. Um, I had a whole bunch of them and I kept my very favorites. And this is a thing that my grandmother did. She had empty decanters that she put colored water in. And I just loved that when I was a kid. And so I bought these and then I did the same thing. But didn't have room to keep all of them, so I kept my favorites and the rest are going. Now this one, um, the this is not crystal, so it's lighter than the other one. Like this glass is, um, you know, not solid. It's hollow inside. It has a cork, has the cork there. I do believe this was an actual whiskey company um, bottled for an actual whiskey company, I believe. So this would have come with a label. It is in my personal collection, so I don't know that I did any research on it. It is a size, super fun, and it is $5, number 33. $5, number 33. And then we have this came straight off my wall, and it is a mirror with a candle holder. And I had um, a Lucite candle in here at one point in time, which was super fun. And then I had it hanging in my bedroom, had some necklaces hung across. Here's the back. I don't know who made it. And like I said, I'm not doing research on these pieces that I am clearancing out, but it's got some super fun details. The metal has this braided detail. Here's the top. And I'm trying not to show the TV opposite me, but it's this big. So it's a nice size, but I only have one. These would have been a um, sold as a set, I'm sure. Let's see. Okay, from the tippy top, it looks like, like 17 inches, but just the mirror part is 12 inches. now and this is going to be eight dollars number 30. there are no cracks in the mirror the mirror is beveled all the way around and no discoloration behind it like you sometimes get so eight dollars number 30 on that one 
Now, everything else that I'm gonna show you today, I showed in my live this morning. So if you watch my live this morning, you've already seen these items. And you can do, unless you wanna watch, if you wanna look at them again and just make sure there wasn't something you absolutely couldn't live without. So I did have quite a few jewelry lots and um, I think they're a good value. Each of the jewelry lots is gonna be $10. So on the first one, you get this bar brooch, black and red, this rose brooch, this red pair of clip earrings, those are made in Japan, and then a red necklace with gold tone beads. So there is everything that you get in this first set. And it is $10, number 12. $10, number 12 for the red set. Next up, I have this turquoise color with gold tone beads necklace. This is its size. And this one comes with three brooches. This brooch made in Austria, which has that same color as the beads. This brooch, which is a Monet. Is that right? Yes, Monet brooch. And then this brooch, which is, I believe, Sarah Coventry, yes. So Sarah Coventry, Monet, made in Austria. And then you get the necklace along with this set. So four pieces and the three brooches are all marked, which is a fantastic deal. Usually Sarah Coventry brooches go for starting at 10 and up. You're gonna get four pieces here. $10, number five. $10, number five. That made in Austria brooch, I think is really cool. Next, very springy um, colors in this one. And you've got this necklace in this beautiful mint green. This fun daisy brooch, very springy, it's plastic. And then this Sarah Coventry brooch with the white and the gold tone. So three pieces here for $10. Number 14. $10 number 14 on the mint green set. Next up is this letter holder. These coil letter, letter holders, so much fun. All four rubber feet are still here and I actually was using this on my desk and now my desk is in storage. $5, number 10. It's this size. $5, number 10. Nice. All the way down there. I have a second red set. This one does not have earrings. So this one, the necklace, the beads go from smaller to larger. I have a second one of those red and black bar brooches. And then I have these two little rose brooches. There's the back on those. So all four pieces of my second red set, $10, number 18. $10, number 18. I have a gold tone set. The necklace on this is a choker and it is Cora. So it is a Cora choker with the hook clasp. It is super pretty. So 
Cora choker. And then, um, I believe that's Sarah Coventry. Yes, Sarah Coventry large flower brooch. Ooh, that would go with my outfit today. And then this brooch is not vintage, but it's very fun and sparkly. And the green is the same green that's in my shirt today. There's the back. And then a little faux pearl brooch, unmarked. So Cora Choker, Sarah Coventry, and then a modern brooch and an unmarked faux pearl. You get four pieces in that and it is $10 number one. $10 number one for the gold tone set. I have a crystal stopper and it does have some slight dings. You can see those little flea bites. And I think it was hand cut. Could be wrong though. It looks hand cut to me, but crystal stopper and $5 number 19 on that. And if you're wondering if it fits in the square one, I do believe it's too small. Yeah, it's too small. It goes all the way down in. I've got to carefully set that back down. Anyway, crystal stopper, $5 number 19 on that one. Very cool faceted crystal stopper. Next up, this one is also very springy. It is a yellow jewelry lot. And so you've got this yellow necklace. Those gold tone beads are plastic. They feel like hollow plastic. That's why I pointed out, it's very lightweight. And then um, you get three brooches and they're flower brooches. So you get this one and it's got a Y back. This one, there's the back of that one. And this one. Now this one does have some wear there on the center Normally I would have sold this one by itself for 10, but I'm gonna include it because it's got the wear. So you get all three of those and the yellow necklace. And that is $10, number 11. Spring is coming. Some days it feels like spring is here. And then this past weekend when it snowed, it did not feel like spring. Next up, pink. This is a pink and gold tone lot. The necklace is a double strand. And look at the clasp on this one. I love it. And these are translucent when you hold them up to the light. So very, very pretty. And I included this Monet but it does have, see the green there? I tried to clean that up, it didn't clean up. It's big. To me, this looks like a firework. So Monet brooch. And then this one is marked um, BSK. I don't, I did, like I said, didn't do my research. This is that brushed gold. And then a little leaf brooch that I included because this was all gold tone. So four pieces, $10, number two, $10, number two. We've got just a few more items. So we've got the rose brooches. So every, there's five brooches, every brooch is a rose. This is the biggest one. 
And then this little one, there's the back. This little one, so sweet. And these two, which I do believe these two were made by the same company. Although they're unmarked, they just look like the same brooches. So all five of those for $10. Number 17. The rose brooches lot. $10, number 17 on that. I got four more items. This is my blue and gold tone lot. So there's the necklace and it's just a little one. And then I've got, is this one? Trifari. And this has some nice weight to it. It's this size. So Trifari brooch. All of the jewelry is in working condition. If it was, if it had any broken bits or if the class didn't open or close, I toss them into a crafting bucket. I don't sell them. And you got this one. It's that size. <clears throat> Little leaf one with faux pearls. And then because this is the blue and gold tone lot, this little wishbone one has a faux pearl and a blue stone in there. So you get four brooches and the necklace in this lot. $10, number three. $10, number three on that one. And I'm going to move these. Oh. Next up, it's a chip and dip, part of a chip and dip set. This is the holder that holds the little dip onto the side of the chip bowl, but that bowl is gonna have a square base. I do not recall what set this goes with. I am sure when I purchased it a couple of years ago, I looked it up, I don't remember, and I never found the chip and dip this would fit. So we talked about this morning on my live, how when you have the chip and dip holder to these vintage chip and dip sets, it can double the value. So if you have this square one and you're looking for the holder to your chip and dip, $5, $5, number 20, $5, number 20. Okay, my last one. is very random brooch lot. So we have this one, it's very Mardi Gras. To me, it's also very 1990s. We have a poodle. And this is made out of a, like a plasticky material, I think. We have another poodle, no brand name on it, but to me, this is a very 1950s. It does have a Y back and it's got red eyes. And there are six in this lot. This one is a pewter cat, a pewter cat. And it is signed, I looked it up one time Mm, I can't see it now. Something craft. But that artist makes pewter things. This modern 4th of July one. And then this vintage faux pearl and blue rhinestone of some kind. There's the back on that one. So you get all six of those for $10.00. Number six, $10, number six for the random brooch lot that includes a cat and two poodles. And then last we have a 
a chip and dip bowl, part of a chip and dip set. This is the bowl part for the chips and it has this wheat pattern on it. I have your choice of dip bowls, although I'm not sure that either, I know one doesn't belong with it at all, but I'm not sure because the bases are different. I don't know that this would have gone with it anyway, but you may have this one with it. It's just $5, but I also have this one and I don't have the bowl to this one just have the dip. So if you need a grape one, let me know. I've got that. But this with the clear bowl, $5, number 21. $5, number 21. And that is everything I've got today. I should be back to my regular schedule of sales every Wednesday morning on coffee. Um, chat and a small sale. We are started now in on our um, altered book project for 2024. So that's exciting. And um, I'm glad to be back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything and it may mean everything to someone else. Bye, guys.